Well, it's Friday, January 30th, 2009, and the week and month are over, and it was a pretty bad one for the markets. The uh, NASDAQ today lost uh, uh, 52 cents, or 1.76%, and uh, it did start out with a gap higher, and um, you know that, that strength quickly failed. Uh, we saw in here on the one-minute time frame that uh, it, it had trouble with the daily VWAP. Once that daily VWAP started turning lower, uh, sellers uh, maintain control up till this little bounce intraday. It got really choppy actually middle of the day in here, but then the sellers did resume uh, back uh, into the close here, and uh, it, it felt actually a lot worse than than the actual uh, end of day numbers. I think um, we do have here on the 10 minute time frame a very uh, defined uh, lower high, a series of lower highs and lower lows. So there's still again no reason to uh, to be looking for any upside in here. I I'd said that it, you know we basically needed to recapture that 2960 level on a closing basis, and obviously we're we're still below there, and that level is going to continue to be important next week. That uh, five-day moving average is flattening out, and we have those lower highs and lower lows. Uh, on the daily time frame, we're of course back below that 50-day moving average, and uh, we've got just a big mess in here. Uh, it is getting you know feeling a lot worse, feeling like maybe we're going to see some kind of uh, real washout in here, but so far the market has avoided that I think that uh, you know key levels uh, to watch next week of course the biggest one down here is 28 if that $28 level uh, give you know is given up uh, then we go down here to test that 27 and then potentially down towards the uh, the lows that we saw late last year near 25 right now on the uh, more intermediate term I think you want to keep your eye on uh, 2875 or so and then uh, this level in here at about twenty eight dollars and thirty cents uh, will be important as well upside again resistance uh, the biggest level to uh, to to be aware of is this 2960 level nothing here at all to suggest that we might get a move back above there uh, the market remains broken and uh, guilty till proven innocent the weekly time frame uh, you know, we saw this big long tail in here basically where we had been significantly higher. You know, we saw the Federal Reserve, uh, you know, news once again have no effect on uh, people's uh, perception of, of the risks in, in the market. And just to go back and, and again take a look at where we are since the beginning of this year in terms of volume weighted average price. The average price that the NASDAQ 100 is traded at is about $29.52. Obviously, we remain below that level. Um, and, you know, these markets uh, are, are just, they're in a bear, you know, we're in a bear market. That's all you can really uh, say about it. Oil uh, closed flat today, still uh, looking like uh, no reason to be involved whatsoever. Uh, the, the, you know, the big, the big winner here lately has been gold. And, um, you know, I had uh, spoken about that last Friday, I think, that, uh, uh, you know, the, the gold had had uh, completed this inverted head and shoulders pattern after testing the 50 day moving average right here. Uh, it, it, it formed that right shoulder. It broke past it. We saw, it, you know, a continued rally, then just a, a, a you know textbook pullback in here that uh, came to that rising five day moving average on the uh, 30, you know, here on a 10 minute time frame. And now we're seeing continued upside. Again, the uh, the, the target from this inverted head and shoulders pattern would imply uh, perhaps we're going to see a move up north of $100 uh, on the uh, GLD, which would obviously put uh, you know, the, the physical bullion uh, at uh, north of, of 500 or, or of north of 1,000, rather. Um, the Russell 2000, I think this market really uh, is probably the, one of the worst acting. It just it feels like you know, we've, got the, well, we've got this declining 10, 20, and 50-day moving average. It seems as though we formed this little, uh, you know, this little rally, which is 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 pretty much failed at this point. And I think breaking back below this 42 and a half area, 4270, then this market could quickly unfold. And um, you know, if you're tr if you're looking at the Russell 2000, you obviously, or maybe not obviously, you want to be looking at uh, the TZA, uh, T, no, yeah, the um, the TZA, which was the uh, small cap bear fund, this is three. It gives you three times the leverage, basically. Uh, so when the Russell is ra uh, is declining, this thing is is rallying theoretically on an intraday basis at uh, three times the percentage rate. So Russell 2000 uh, remains, uh, in my opinion, one of the more vulnerable looking markets right now. Uh, we've got a clear 
pattern in here as well of these lower highs and lower lows uh, just you know stair stepping nicely lower so you know just a perfect little downtrend we're below the five day moving average we're also of course below this uh, 45 uh, 80 level or so that that had been the uh, the level that the market had taken out uh, the, on the day of the Fed there, there Wednesday um, it failed yesterday of course and now we're seeing a continued downside the more important levels to monitor as far as potential support in here of course this 43 is a big level that if you know if the 43 level is given up then I think that uh, it's pretty much lights out for this market maybe we slow down right around in this area where we'd seen these lows at about 41 and a half but there's not much reason to uh, to, to look optimistically at all at this at this market and uh, you know if you've, you've, you've always got to of course keep an open mind to any uh, any situation but uh, the, the the proof is in price and here's the average price for the uh, Russell 2000 this year up at about forty six dollars and seventy cents so you know obviously that means that uh, the majority of the average participant in the Russell 2000 is losing money this year and uh, that makes them you know vulnerable to, to selling out on, on on little panics and that sort of thing financials will uh, continue to be uh, very weak they lost 2.7 percent today back below that closing level from last year of uh, that closing low rather uh, at nine dollars and forty cents also uh, you know we we we'd closed this uh, this gap that we had seen uh, and uh, where we uh, so let's take a look at that that 940 level was important from last year as well as just recently so 940 to 950 continues to be an area of uh, of significance and um, the market will have to at least recapture that uh, but you know you want to see at least a higher high in here before you start thinking long and it's going to take a, a move at least above this level we had seen support right in here at about 970 and then the market act you know find resistance there today near that level as well so all these markets just continue to look very vulnerable uh, the news is you know continues it's it's hard to find any good news at all and uh it's a uh, you know bear market activity basically s p 500 looks very similar uh, mainly to the to the Russell I think uh, we, we'd seen the market get up to that uh, declining uh, 20 and 50 day moving averages in here we'd also seen that that uh, was a uh, retracement of about 50 percent of the range for the year uh, the average price this market has traded at uh, in 2009 if we take a look you see that line forming right around that $86 level so uh, 86 takes on you know more significance uh, once again because it's it's uh, it, it's the average price that that people have have uh, been involved in this year it's also this level where we had seen support last year uh, and uh, you know resistance earlier here near the five-day moving average we're back below a declining five-day moving average we've got an obvious pattern of lower highs and lower lows and um, you know we're gonna have to at least recapture that 85 86 level before we can uh, begin to really take any long side scenarios seriously this uh, support down here near 80 uh, looks like it's basically ready to be retested and uh, breaking below that will confirm a lower low here and then you know perhaps down to retest these lows we could also take a look at uh, you know the, the measured move as far as a potential uh, target let's take a look at a 30 minute time frame basically what we would do there is say the height of uh, of, of this move here uh, subtracted from the high there so if we take a look at the uh, let's take a look go back to the daily time from the height of this basically is from here to here which is uh, basically about 80 and a half and the high is up near about 94 and a half so 14 points uh, from 80 and a half we would uh, you know would give us a, a, a price objective down near uh, 66 or so and you know when we're in a bear market anything's possible as far as downside projections don't don't think that it can't happen take a look at those uh, uh, that blog post on my site you know under popular post uh, that says bear market perspective or something like that that talks about uh, the uh, 1929 bear market and that sort of thing the market remains a mess it's very high risk uh, really again only suited uh, best for traders